my name is Milda Motskonita and I'm CPL holder. Today I will try to fly an Airbus A320 for my first time. And today the first pilots will be incapable to land an aircraft and I'll have to take over uh, the procedures. Um, and uh, the first officer will give me instructions for landing an aircraft and this will be uh, an autopilot landing. Okay, so we're going to descend to 9000 and the plane should stop and 9000 continue. And it's stopping. We don't need to touch the, the yoke. Yeah. The plane is doing everything by itself. And you can see on my map, yeah. display the approach plot. So we'll be turning left, then right, and then left again on the final for two final left. Okay, try to lower the altitude from 9000, you can see on, on the pilot, to 4000. Mm -hmm. Try to turn the altitude. Okay, Yeah, so yeah, yeah. no. 4000. Yeah, 4000 set. Okay. And we are turning left. We should also turn all the all, all the lights so the other planes could see us because we have adverse weather conditions. The light buttons are on the overhead panel on the lower or lower half. You can see strobe lights, beacon lights, wing lights, and so on. Below them will be landing lights. They are now on, and runway turn off lights. Turn them on also. This one, yeah. No, the one below. Uh huh. Yeah. This That's and on the right side, nose lights. Uh, to take off. Okay. Good. Okay, and we're turning right again. And now, before we get to the level, I, I will tell you what to do when we approach the airport. Yeah, so sure. we'll use the flaps lever, it is on the lower half 
uh, on the right on the left side is hybrid and on the right side is flaps so we'll set the flaps but later not now yeah. but later we'll set flaps yeah. to one two three and pull them to set the flaps you have to pull the lower half like you would on the car gear shift just pull it and set it to one two three and four sure. the gear the gear lever is uh, there yeah this is the gear level yeah. so we will lower it uh, on the top of the gear level uh, higher there is the auto brake you can there is low, medium, and maximum auto brake. You can push the medium one to on. Can you see it? Uh, above the landing gear, above the clock, yeah. above the clock, auto brake. Yeah. So look, push the middle button, medium. This one. Push yeah, it. Yeah. Sure. Push it now. Yeah. Okay. It's on. On. Okay. We should get to lower altitude, uh, the altitude knob, pull it, pull the knob. Okay, good, that's it. Now the plane will start to descend to 4000. Uh, set the pressure uh, in front of you on the autopilot panel you see STD standard written uh, on the left side there uh, on the on the screen on the little screen on the left just uh, this Here? one yeah, yeah. Uh, sure. ro rotate it rotate the knob rotate it yeah just just rotate it to the right yeah or let's try to pull it And try to push it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Now set it one zero one zero. One zero one zero. One zero one zero. And the same on the right side. And don't don't push it. Don't okay. just leave it. And the yeah. same on the on the right side. Okay. One zero one zero. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So we now have the local pressure. Okay, and we'll now try to uh, turn to the left, turn to the final. Yeah. So you have to lower the speed. The speed is also on the autopilot. It's now 250. Yeah. You see the speed? Rotate yeah. it to 190. 190. 190. And leave it like this. Okay. There is also an ILS button uh, below the barometric pressure button. Yeah. Uh, ILS, yeah, push this one. Yep. And on my side also, on the right side also. Okay. And the speed now disconnected. Uh, pull the speed button. Pull it. Good. Okay. So on the main display primary display you can see the less uh, the localizer below that yeah. below the display and the glide slope on the right yeah so yeah. we have the localizer uh, you ha I have to push the localizer button on the console on the autopilot you will see just below the speed the speed knob uh, localizer button mm -hmm. yeah. yeah this one push it Got set, set. And we are turning on to the final. We have uh, about 26 miles to the runway. More than enough time to do this correctly. Okay, localizer is now captured. So we just continue. And we also now have the glide slope. 
So when you have to push the approach button, it's also on the console on the right side of the console of the autopilot. Uh, no, this is autopilot, uh, more on the right. Yeah, the approach. Approach it. Good. And localizer is captured, light loop is arm. Okay, we should also arm the spoilers. So the spoilers uh, handle is on the left side, where the flaps handle is. Yeah. This flaps spoilers on the on the left. Uh, this one, yeah. Pull yeah. it, pull it to you. Yeah, good. Now they are armed, and we'll deploy when we land. You can see on the middle monitor, uh, ground spoilers armed written on the middle one. In the middle, you can see ground spoilers armed and seatbelts no smoking. So it, everything is okay. Okay, so now set flaps to one. To one? Yeah. Flaps one? Yeah, good. We will automatically slow some more. Okay, we have 20 miles to the runway. I can see it. We have 5 kilometers visibility, so uh, let's hope the autopilot does the job correctly. And we wait for the glide slope to start to move, and that should happen in around. Uh, six or seven miles, then we will set the gear down and set flaps to two when the glide slope starts to move. Okay, the glide slope is now moving, yes. so lower the gear, pull the gear, pull it and down. Gear down. Good. Gear is down. Lights and now flaps two. Descending towards the airport. We still have 10 miles to go. Mm -hmm. So now flaps to full. Flaps yeah. to three yeah. and then to full. Full. Set. Good. Now turn on the second autopilot, so now autopilot 1 is on, you can see the light, next to it is autopilot 2, where is that? Okay, so both autopilots are on, and it will be on the auto land. Okay, 6 miles to the runway. The emergency services are notified and we are here to land. Now, when we will be nearing the runway, uh, it will be 1000 feet, 500 and then 150. And then the plane will call uh, retard. Uh, retard, that means that you have to pull the throttle back. So we have the throttle handles in the middle. In the middle, the throttle handles, the, the black ones, yeah, these ones. They are now in automatic position in fly mode. Uh, when I will tell you, you have to... Uh, what the airplane says them, retard them, so pull them back, okay? Yeah. And if something happens and we have to go around, you have the red button on the on the, on the the joystick there, you have the red button, don't press it now. Yeah. Uh, and also a red button on the, on the throttle, uh, two red buttons. So if something happens, you have to press the red button and just pull up. Okay, so we have 2,000 feet left. So we have the checklist in the middle, on the middle monitor, landing checklist. So landing gear is 
down, signs are on, cabin ready, smaller sun, flaps full, no notifications, so we are fully configured and ready to plan. Parking brake, it's below the flaps lever. This one, pull it and set it on. Pull it, pull it, and turn to right on. And that's it. Yeah. yeah. Good job. To land an Airbus uh, A320 was quite easy with an autopilot. And it was really not nice touchdown. Um, it was a lot of fun. And uh, thank you for watching this video. And I will see you next time.